Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you on a Texas style adventure. We are at the Southwestern Regional Rendezvous hosted just a little bit outside of Nocona, Texas and uh, this is going to be kind of fun. We pulled up into this large lot kind of in the middle of nowhere and uh, what I see ahead, well you're coming with me. Okay, adventurers, while we're walking around here, this is all super cool, very themed, very neat, and you can shop at a variety of different stops here and find all sorts of cool stuff. So that's kind of what we're doing right now to start with. So as you can see, there are tons of different things here that you can find, and then everyone is dressed in theme, which is super cool. So this is basically them reflecting the mountain man style. Now, in addition, they have some different events that are going on it's kind of throughout the entirety of the event. Now, while they're doing it here, they're doing it for two separate weekends. So they have different kinds of demos for knife throwing and muskets and stuff like that. So I'm super excited to see what else we can find as we continue to explore the village area here. It's super, super neat. Okay, as we're continuing to explore around, you're seeing more and more of the different kinds of structures. And the cool thing about this is when people come out, they actually stay on property in their tents and in their teepees, which is super, super cool. But um, apparently the other night when they were set up, it got down to 19 degrees. Now me as a van dweller, I know that that can be brutal. And some of the people have full on like piped out stoves, but others not so much. So that had to be super, super cold. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep looking around and see what else we can find. And quartered it and everything. But when you don't take the epidermis off, that's what you're left with. And what you want to be left with on each side is like this, because that's the same side. And then there's the underbelly. jelly. But what I learned about this, this has only been brained once. Rose hip syrup. And what I just learned from a friend that does this a lot, you got to put these things through at least three times.
Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you already know this, but I had two friends whenever I was at my last big event who either sat down for their first campfire or made their first campfire. But that was super cool to see because the man was showing how they would have made campfires back in the day using little cloths in a tin. And what he did was he actually put that into direct heat and it made what's called a char cloth. And that's what we were just looking at right there. And those char cloths could then be used as fire starters in the future and they would just go up like that. Okay, so as I'm roaming around, I am going into the different camps and seeing different groups of people and they're showing us different kinds of things, but we are here on a Sunday. So during Sundays, it's a little bit more of a relaxed day. Kind of like whenever you go to a van event, people are kind of just like chilling, enjoying themselves, having good communication with one another and just kind of in their moment. So. You kind of happen upon something here and there, but for the most part, the main activities are happening on other days. Let me show you kind of what the book of events kind of looks like so you can kind of get an idea of this. Okay, so whenever you come in, you pay your admission and this is the book that they give you. It's a pretty nice little book. It tells you a little bit about what's going on, but as you're going inside, it also tells you about the different kinds of events. Let me show you a little bit more. For example, right here, we have the opening and closing ceremonies and then also the council fire meeting time and also a list of different people who are participating who do different things. So there are some interesting nicknames here like No Nose and Bobcat, Two Otters, Walking Eagle, or Just Josh. Hmm, I think I've met a Just Josh before. And then here we have the schedule of actual events including the shooting, archery, hawk and knife, washers, poker, they even have church services out here. And it's all encompassing on this event over a several days span, which is pretty neat. <laughs> Now, with all events, of course, there are some rules, and with this one, those are also included in the book. So it's something to kind of read through whenever you first get here, especially if you're gonna be participating in any of the events. So there's that, but um, let's move around a little bit more. And that guy's was Long Knife. Um, the knife that he was holding, he actually made, and he said that he made it out of a super, super hard metal, which was from a meteorite. And it took him one calendar year to make that knife, which is crazy. Can you imagine investing in a project for one calendar year? One calendar year. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to share that. Anyway, as we're kind of walking along through here, I'm checking out some more of the tents and showing you guys kind of what the layout is. If you have an event like this in your area, make sure that you come out and check it out, especially if you're going on a demo day. Just saying, you will really enjoy it. It's something very, very different and uh, you get to learn a little bit more about what it takes to live like a mountain man. 
Now, is that something that you would be interested in? Leave in the comments below and uh, let me know. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up here for the rendezvous. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. And because there's no gift shop to exit through, we're gonna exit through the parking lot. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for this adventure. Remember guys, we are not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time and trying out new events like this definitely is a good time. Till next time guys, bye.